Welcome back into SWH Live. Chris Treff bringing you the play-by-play -play for this exciting round-robin matchup. Mars Blade and Mission Labeda Snipers. So many storylines in this one. Just not even aside from the fact that you have two great teams. It all boils down to that. All storylines aside, you have two excellent teams, two of the most talented teams in the tournament, and a team fighting for their lives. As Mars Blade, if they lose this game, they're eliminated from the playoffs, and they're going up against maybe the favorite in this tournament, the Snipers. So Mars Blade has to bring it. Yesterday, they lost to the few and the Roadrunners. Jack Combs comes away with the puck on the four check for the Snipers, gets to White, back to Kavai in his own end. E.J. Cavaya. Fires one off the boards. Jack Combs. Over for Sigmund. Sigmund into his offensive end. Tries to turn it back. That one's knocked away. Kyle. To Spezia. Spezia into his offensive zone. Drop pass. Kyle Roos. Shot saved by Redmond. It's loose in front. And held on to by Redmond. Now we have some pushing and shoving after the whistle. A little bear hug behind the net. Probably not a terrible idea to go after Matt White and get him off the floor. Oops, Burnett was all over him. Burnett and White will get penalties. So a coincidence, they'll sit for a minute 30, with no time on the clock. Pat Maroon takes the face off against Hawkins. High stick, but touched up by Maroon. Cody Kett loses his footing. Sends it off the wall. Shane Fox intercepts, and he is absolutely flying. Fox over to the right side. Backhands it through the middle. Nobody home. Cody Kettler up the boards. Westcott really got taken out by Hawkins. Fox, high slot. Over to Hawkins. Waiting. Does a change up, and it's stopped there by Kevin Johnson. Bryson Johnson gets it back to Cody Kettler. Fired off the wall. It's Pat Maroon. Maroon into his offensive zone. Cuts right now left. Wrist shot block. Comes back to him. He shoots it wide. No oh, crazy turnover. Cody Kettler in. Big hit shot. He scores. I don't know how that puck ended up his tape. I think that was a sniper player that hit him. Or maybe it was Maroon. Let's look at the replay. It starts on the break, and Maroon will get a couple chances here. Second one goes wide. Oh, it was Maroon. I thought it was a turnover. Great pass to find Cody Keller. Now here's Corey Keller. Cuts to his right. Shoots. That one goes wide. I can't believe I doubted the three-time Stanley Cup champion. Long range wrist shot, that one goes over top of the net. And taken here by the Snipers. Snipers down one to nothing. Situation they've been in before. Fired up the wall. Now this one's brought in by Mars Blade. Spezia. Turns it back. Now 
Now at center. Backhand feed by Archibald. Finds Alex Kyle. Kyle in. Toe drag shoots. Kavaya just took that one off the face. Oh my goodness. Hopefully he's okay. I mean, Kavaya's fearless. But that was just. Can we can we see that? Can we see that where they hit him? Can we get a replay there? Alex Kyle is not a guy with a slow shot. Here we go. Well, George is back and watching. Don't worry, keep rolling it. Here's Kyle, toe drag. Ooh! Ouch! Here's Matt White the other way, wrist shot, Kevin Johnson makes the save. That did not look fun, George. Is George set to rejoin me here? Not at all, Chuffed, man, but it's a Kavaya play, though. <laughs> yeah. Block shots at all costs. Now, odd man for the snipers. Matt White a shot, Kevin Johnson makes the save. He has been good early. Back through center, Mars Blake shot, that one's blocked. I, uh... I doubted Pat Maroon earlier. I thought it was a turnover, but really he lifted a stick and threw a pass blindly and was perfectly on Cody Cutler's tape for the goal. Wow. Not sure why I was doubting the three-time Stanley Cup champion, but... It's okay. Stuff happens. Pat Maroon tries the backhand toe drag. Still hasn't worked for him yet. It might eventually, or it will eventually. You know he's gonna keep trying it. So here come the snipers again. Jack Combs and Frankie Melton come together. Two St. Louis guys there. I can tell you Mars Blade is right now the biggest sniper fan in the world. What? Mars Blade? I'm, I mean, the few. The few. Sorry, buddy. Mar Mars Blade is playing. I wouldn't expect that. You almost had me fooled for a second there. I'm like, they are fans? Mars Blade just holding it in their own zone. Taking all the time in the world. And now they head up. Down to the corner. Big collision. Guzman and Corey Keller exchanging pleasantries. This Guzman actually got his face mask ripped off. Now here comes Mars Blade. Pass the left wing side, Frankie Melton. Melton shoots, and Kavai eats that one too. Always. And he goes right off. Hawkins, nice move coming to the zone. Backhand shot. Corey Kettler, a wicked slash there on Hawkins. The sniper bench not real happy right now. No, not at all. It's the one time they're letting JP yell. 11.40 left in the first period. Not many whistles so far in the first. The lone goal belongs to Cody Kettler. Here comes Spezia, showing off that speed shot, and Redmond fights it off. And you know, you're gonna get Mars Blade's best game right now because they know it's a must win. Yes. This is a playoff game for them. Their playoffs start now. And they have to win both. Yeah, don't expect uh, them to have a half-hearted half effort here. Tommy Bruce. Bruce, backhand. That one is blocked. So elusive is Tommy Bruce. Buck in front, covered by Kevin Johnson. St. Louis. Well represented in this game, George. 
They always are. I mean, St. Louis, I mean, I mean, it's... What game are they not? Right. It's, and especially, I mean, since we are in STL, but, I mean, even when it's not in pro, St. Louis is always... Yeah. No matter where we are. It's well represented. You're right. Touche. I mean, it, it's got to be one of your top three markets. Roller markets, right? Yeah. California, number one, obviously. NorCal, SoCal. You can spit them up or you can combine them into one. What's, uh, what's your second? I think it would be St. Louis? Midwest, but yeah, yeah. St. Louis for sure, one of them. Midwest is a big spot. Well, no, I know that, but I'm, yeah, St. Louis. But then I think after that, you have to go to that. New York, Long Island? No, ish, you got to no? go to that Philly area. That Philly, I guess the tri-state area, you could call it. That's why I'm, it's just hard, because if you're looking at sections, you're looking at Cali, you're looking at Missouri, and you're looking at PA, I would say. Buck goes down low. Jack Combs to the back door. Sigrid shoots. Kevin Johnson, an excellent save. Johnson will play the puck out. Cody Keller, the game's only goal scorer, makes a pass, hits off a skate, comes right back to him. Now he fires it back for Archibald. To Alex Kyle. Kyle skates down the right wing side. Kyle backhands across the middle, and that one's blocked. Good poke by Redmond there. Buck goes in on net and covered by Kevin Johnson. I think I heard they were telling him to play it on the bench, but there was some pressure there. Not sure that would have been the smartest play in the world. So good cover by Kevin Johnson. So it'd be the snipers. Not that everyone doesn't know each other anyway, but they should know how to beat. Cabin, right? These guys have played with him, against him. The familiarity yeah, I guess, here but is Cabin huge. Cabin continues to get better every single year, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Shot there blocked. Now we'll head the other way. Pat Maroon's going to the net. Shot, that one's blocked in the corner. Pat Maroon seemed seeming to find chemistry with everybody he plays with, but I mean, I guess that's what you get. You're also going to have a little extra jump in your step. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. He's good. yeah. Shot put on. Fox makes a save. He's one of the most well-known NHL players right now. Yeah. Think about it. Well. All hockey fans and some non-hockey fans know who Pat Maroon is. Wow. Nice passing, and it's knocked away. Even though he doesn't put up the points in the NHL like he used to, you still skate with NHL guys every day, and you're still a really talented player. So when you come back to roller hockey, you're still going to be one of the best on the floor every time Absolutely. you touch Absolutely. Two on one if they hurry. Here comes Westcott with Burnett. Over to Burnett. Good job by Combs. Takes the back a shot, track. cuts to the front, and it just got away from him. Now a reset here. On the attack, Bryson Johnson, Cabin's brother. Or not brother, they're cousins, right? Or are they brothers? Brothers. Brothers, yes. I don't know why I blanked on that. I was just really fearful I was going to say it wrong. Bryson Johnson in. Wraps it around the back of the net. Cody Kettler trying to slip away from the four check. Buck bounces free. Lamoya to the high slot. Corey Kettler shoots off the goal post. You can't get much closer than that. It's a George. great feed by Lamoya, too. Now Craven the other way shot over top of the net. Another St. Louis guy. Greg oh. Thompson, what a move, comes in. Wraps around the back of the Thompson, net. Thompson, just still doing it. Still doing it to this day. Gotta love, so slippery. Lost his footing, but still got a good shot off. 
And the net comes off and that's what causes that whistle. Seven ten left in the first. One nothing lead for Mars Blade. Now Mars Blade has the puck once again. Spezia east to west sends it to the middle. That one missed. Matt White fakes the shot, cuts in front, shoots! Stopped by Johnson as the net comes off. And once again, we have some unhappy players on the sniper's bench. <laughs> this, I'm telling you right now, and I hate to say this, but the officials are going to play an important part in this game. You can already tell that. You know, they're going to play an important part, Draft. I mean, well, both of these teams' power plays is just absolutely disgusting, so. Probably going to play a part no matter what happens, right? Yeah. Buck out to the point. Get this one to the right side. Sigmund dancing in a phone booth right now. He gets held up. Slightly no call made. And more frustrations from the sniper's bench. Now Sigmund. Heading into his offensive zone. Curls back, snipers have possession. Slowly but surely up the floor they come. Sigmund, right wing side. Plays one through the middle and that one missed. Mars Blade in transition. Pass comes off the boards, Maroon has Westcott with him. Maroon tried to sauce it across. Nice D from P.J. Cavaya. Great feed by Cavaya after the breakup. Now to Sigmund, finds Jack Holmes, gets away from him. Now comes to Matt White, he tries to toe drag, knocked away. Trying to back in this one in front, it's blocked. Second try, taken and sent around the boards. Matt White. Maroon smiles at Sigmund after holding him up there on the board. Yeah. That white backhand shot. Johnson to save it. Bounces up into the air and ends up behind the net. Now out front, Charlie Combs shoots off the crossbar and out of play. Just rips it right off the crossbar. Snipers have been carrying play here, Treft, and uh, they're trying to break through. They've got eight shots to. Mars Blades three, but they have not beat Kevin Johnson yet. Intermission, I'll be stepping away from you. I have to meet my uh, 2004 PA team. 2004, what age is that? It's 18 you basically. Oh, okay, so it's older kids. Yeah, you know, I ain't coaching really young. Oh yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was wondering and I suck at math, so I figured I'd ask. <laughs> Wasn't good to myself, I'm like, what are you? There's still 18 you next year too. I mean, oh, they're 17 they're, year olds. They're 16 year olds. They're 16 you in any other, because it's cut off date December 31st, 2020. Yeah. So are they 16 or 17? They should all be 17, turning 17 this year. Okay. So some 17 year olds, some 16 year olds. So needless to say, you'll be yelling a lot. Yeah. <laughs> What's the team name in case anybody want to watch this on Live Barn? Team PA, 2004 Triple Double. Keep it simple. Face off one by Mars Blade. Arch ball, slowly up to four, tries to find LaMoya, broken up by Hawkins on the back check. Haven't seen much of Hawkins yet this game, which is bound to change. Guzman up the middle, just missed it. He slammed into the boards by Murnett. Four-player battle behind the goal. Trying to get this puck free, they do, LaMoya. Goes cross rink, finds Burnett. 
comes Burnett into his offensive zone. Right wing side shoots, Redmond the save, and he hangs on for the whistle. You can tell that both teams are in a situation here. They don't want to make that next mistake, Treft. No. Neither team wants to make that next mistake. Draw one by the Snipers. We're off the floor by Matt White. Matt White toe drags to the far side. Skates into the corner. Big battle behind the net. Sigmund comes away with it, centers it, and that one missed. Now it's controlled by Mars Blade. Bryson Johnson up the right side for Kyle. Kyle into his offensive zone. Chris shot. That one goes off the crossbar. It was bar down but far down in front of the goal line. Shot put on, and Johnson will hang on for the whistle. Can we roll that back? Can, do we have that play? If we have it, can we roll it back real quick? Nothing's gonna change here, but I just wanna see AK's shot. There's no way I'm gonna tell there, but but it's interesting. And the ref was in position, so he can't even say that he wasn't, you know? Yeah. I don't think it was a goal because of the angle it came out at. Gotcha. Where it landed, that would have been really tough for that to hit back bar and yeah. land where it, it did. It landed right in front of Redmond though. Like right down by No, that's it. what I'm saying, it came out too far. Because it you have to be up and in for that shot and like yeah, it's going to come come out too far to me. It's going to come straight down. It did. No, but it came out. Like it hit in the middle of the crease. I don't know. I don't know, Chuck. If it would have hit right by the goal line, you're like, "Okay." Yeah, you, I'm not saying it went in, but I don't think yeah. it it wasn't one of those clear ones like Westcott into his offensive zone gets around Kramer for it. Shot he scores. Great take by Westcott. The young kid doing it. Jared Westcott, the Penn State commit, played there last year, six points in 17 games after a very successful USHL career with the Sioux Falls Stampede. 73 points in 98 games for Sioux Falls. But he also won a Clark Cup, Clark Cup champion, Jared Westcott. Had a great playoff run, six points in 12 games for Sioux Falls back in 1819. Pass cross rink. Pat Maroon dives to take it away from Guzman, now moves up the floor. Maroon a drop pass, Melton shoots, and that one goes wide to the net. He's just fun to watch, man. Yeah. Now Shane Fox throws it far side. Guzman, big hit, shot, he scores! That's a huge response there from the Snipers. Huge. You'd think a guy in an NHL contract wouldn't be diving like that as we're watching the Pat Maroon plays at one end. Right. On the He's replay. ready for it. But he, he was ready for it. He a great play, but then back the other way. And transition is huge there. Now, do you think that would be an interference on Guzman when he slashed Melton's stick and he lost his stick and that allowed that pass to be much easier to Guzman? I didn't get to see it. I wish I could respond to that, but. I think it's what, I think it's what uh, Maroon was arguing about. Brandon Hawkins. Saucer pass, oh, oh my. Oh, got it. That was an unbelievable pass. Yeah. It just hits off his skate weird. Archibald, shot, glove save. And it's held on to by Redmond, the Snipers netminder. 105 left here in the first period, Treft. Alex Kyle takes the face off.
Draw one by Sigmund. Buck in the corner, Matt White getting mauled by Burnett. Hey, we said the referee's gonna be a factor in this game, George? Yeah. Maybe they're gonna be non-factor because uh, they're not calling much. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be important here because they can either they can either make a difference or just sit back and let the teams be the difference. So it was gonna be interesting when they get chirped at to see which direction it went. And honestly, the game's toned down since the beginning. 25 left in the first half. With these two teams, it's not. If, <laughs> if something super egregious happens, Sigmund to Matt White. Matt White turns fire, saved by Johnson. Kevin Johnson got three-fourths of that puck on that goal. Yeah, 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 he did. He's playing great in this game. Alex Kyle, seven seconds left of the period for Spezia. In front to Burnett, blocked by Cavaya. And that'll do it. Last second shot by Combs, easily handled by Kevin Johnson. Out for a break, back for the second period at SWHY. No one likes getting hit unexpectedly, especially with expensive car repairs. That's why I protect myself with CarShield. CarShield is my first line of defense against expensive car repairs. If your car's out of warranty, you need CarShield, period. Score the CarShield hat trick at no additional cost. Get roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage. Never get stuck on the bench with expensive car repairs again. Call CarShield before your car breaks down. Call 800-579-6554. Welcome back into SWH Live. I'm Chris Treffline solo for the next little bit as George is off to meet his 2004 team. Mars played, has possession to start the second. Jared Westcott off to Cody Keller. Westcott tries to go back to him, that's blocked. Cody Keller, back in his own zone. Plays it behind the goal, Melton. Pat Maroon tells him to slow down. Go back behind the goal. Melton still hanging out behind the net. Now I'll pass up to Maroon. Nice little give and go play. Here comes Melton. Shane Fox on the back check, forces the turnover. Brandon Hawkins, high stepping into the zone. Hawkins, saucer pass, that one's blocked. Hawkins gets to it, tries to go cross ring, gets off a skate, comes to Jack Combs, tries to stick handle the front, and Pat Maroon blocked it. Jack Combs wins the battle against Pat Maroon in the corner. Pass to the left side, it's Charlie Combs. Melton slides the puck back into his own end. Westcott 
Takes a hit from Charlie Combs. Spezia for Burnett. Burnett to Spezia. Spezia sends it back into his own zone. Kevin Johnson sets it up behind the net for Archibald. Archibald. Little passing plays. The puck comes to center. Kyle lost it. Sigma now behind the net. Sigma gives it to Kavaya. Now Matt White. Here comes White up the floor. Now turns back. White into his offensive zone. Right side. White to the front of the net, wraps around the back. Out high, Kavaya. Long range, wrister. That deflects into the corner. Combs. Back to Kavaya. Kavaya. Finds Sigmund. Segment gets it back to Kavaya. Now J.P. Bilston. For Segment. Well, it's one of those games I wish I had, George, because it's boring as heck right now. <laughs> Not much action at all. Tommy Bruce looks to change that, gets to Kramer. Kramer up the floor. Shot put on, and the save is made by Johnson. Face off on the left side, Dot. Mars blade, R1. Against Mission Labeda snipers, two to one lead for Mars blade. Goals from ours played by Cody Kettler. And Jared Westcott, Guzman, has the tally for the Snipers. Bryson Johnson. Use it for Corey Kettler. He's out from behind the net. Now spins it back. Bryson Johnson to Cody Kettler. For LaMoya. Moya gives it to Corey Kettler. Back behind the goal. Now off the wall, Corey Kettler. Over to Melton. Melton for Pat Maroon, far side. Big Pat. Skates into the corner. Thompson forces him off the puck. Now Burnett. Burnett, left wing side, tries to go to the right wing, blocked by Thompson. They get it up to Jack Combs. Jack Combs watched by Westcott, drops it to Hawkins. Hawkins shoots, and the save is made by Kevin Johnson. Now it's Guzman. Guzman, drop pass to Hawkins, big slap shot. That one hits off a stick. And ends up in the corner. Now Burnett. Draw pass, Pat Maroon. Now Westcott, left wing side. Westcott in front, deflected wide. Buck fired up ahead for Hawkins. Brandon Hawkins in front, deflected on net. And Jack Combs makes the redirect. And Kevin Johnson the save. Now Melton. One-time shot, blocked into the corner. Guzman now, right side. Around the back of the net, sends it off the board to himself, but got the stick knocked out of his hands. Pass to the center for Cody Keller. Cody back into his own zone. Go 
Cody Keller up the floor. Cuts to the left wing. Shot, that one is blocked. Goes in behind the net, Cody Keller. Smacks this one off the back of the goal. And now it's Matt White, inches his way up the floor. Matt White, cuts to his right, now left. Gets to Charlie Combs, now to Sigmund. Sigmund in, shoots, that one goes over top. Karams to the near side boards. Puck fired back into the sniper zone. Kavaya, up to Sigmund. Knocked away. Backhand feed over. Matt White missed it. Right down the middle. Get in front, now one's poked wide. Battle in the corner. Four players involved, two snipers, two Mars blade. Trying to get this puck free here. And eventually the whistle blows and the face off will be on the near side dot. And 20 loot, two left in the second. Shots are 14 to six snipers, but the score is two to one Marsblade. Thompson up the boards. JP Bielston. Spinorama pass, finds Kramer. Kramer back into his own zone. Now Greg Thompson on his horse. Tries to stick out around Melton. That's a turnover, Melton. It was offensive zone, LaMoya. They have the trailer, Johnson. Goes back in front to Melton, he shoots and scores! Nine forty-three left in the second, Mars Blade. Gets the goal, makes it 3-1. Uncharacteristic turnover here from Greg Thompson. Then he ran into his teammate Bruce. So neither of them could get back in time. Melton wasn't a great pass to LaMoya, but he collected and had plenty of time to feed Melton, screaming to the back door. Maroon against Hawkins. Both of them won a championship in ice hockey this year. Hawkins the Kelly Cup, Pat Maroon, obviously the Stanley Cup. They get the puck forward, Jaden Guzman shoots, Kevin Johnson the save, and it's taken here. By Cody Keller. Westcott down the right side. He'll shoot, that one goes wide of the net. Keller behind the goal. Now up the right side. Burnett over for Melton. Melton wraps it around the goal. Now Brandon Hawkins in drop pass for Jack Combs. Buck skitters away from him though. Jack Combs out to the red line for Shane Fox. Pass of Ed Hawkins. Hawkins shoots. That one's blocked. Pinballing around and ends up in the left corner. A broken stick. Oh my, there it is. The SC16 that we've talked about all weekend is no more. What a smart play by Spezia there. Charlie Combs shot the broken stick and Spezia inched his way up and let the stick hit it. So it would be a penalty shot, but they didn't call it. Alex Kyle in front of the net. 
Melton got a poke on it, and Redmond a couple saves. He gets the whistle. Since I started working in roller hockey, Burnett has used that SE16, literally. I've never seen him use anything else. And honestly, it looks like he's searching around for a backup. Does he even have one? The Easton SE16. He might, he might have to take that and frame it. That thing lasted forever. They saw one by Marsblade. They put it back in their own zone. Archibald sends it up the boards, runs into the wall. Charlie Combs plays it out high, knocks down Spezia as they both fall down. Now Guzman. Shane Fox, pass to Guzman, tons of speed coming into the zone, backhands it across the front, and that one was knocked away. Now Westcott, beautiful move into the zone, shot, they score! Excellent move, 6.51 left in the second. Four to one is the score in favor of Marsblade. That's a big insurance goal there and the snipers take a timeout. Sigmund with the puck or the snipers. Moving around on the right side. Now to Kramer. Kramer long shot. Save by Johnson. Kramer gets to a loose puck but couldn't send it home. This game's getting fiery. Sigmund. Tommy Bruce. Wrist shot. That one's blocked. Now Kramer ran into along the boards. Bilstein and Burnett getting into it. They pull on each other's jerseys. Cooler heads prevail. And Bielstein. And Burnett will head to the penalty boxes. Burnett does have a backup stick. Can't tell what it is, though. Snipers win the face off. Sigmund retreats into his own zone. Sigmund now turns up the floor. Pat Maroon pokes it away from Sigmund. He has three snipers on him. They both take it away. 
Sigmund into the zone. Stick handling like crazy. It's caught in the back check by Pat Maroon. Now Maroon up the floor. Maroon goes between his own legs. Pat Maroon, forehead shot. And that one is stopped by Redmond. Now Sigmund, cross rink. Hawkins into his offensive zone. Hawkins over to Sigmund. One time shot, he scores. Don't look now. It is now 4-2. Charlie Combs and Archibald getting in each other's faces. But Sigmund will get credit for that goal that makes it 4-2, 5-19 left in the second. Archibald. Heading to the penalty box. Will Charlie Combs go to or will this be a power play? This could completely change the complexity of this game if it's a sniper's power play. Talking to the referee right now. Face off one by Mars Blade. I'm going to be running like a madman at Atreft. So you're just doing an impression of me yesterday. Right, exactly. Spezia up to Cody Keller. Cody Keller in front, save made by Redmond and held on to. So it's not a power play for the snipers. That might have been a misconduct for Archibald. Actually, you know, Charlie Combs in the box too, so that's why. Disregard. Intensity's picking up here, George. Sorry, bud. Shot by Jack Cornsack goes wide. It would. I've seen both sniper goals, and I missed two of the Mars Blade goals. I walked away, and it was 2 1 because I left at halftime, Treft. Here comes Shane Fox. Cuts to his left. Fox shoots. Glove saved by Kevin Johnson. Great Johnson save. has been great in this game, George. Yeah, he's, I've known Kevin since he was a youngster, and this kid has just gotten better and better every year, and I've said it before, but Kevin Johnson, listen, he is going to be a goaltender in this division for years to come. Years to come. Big face off here, 4 to an eight left in the second, four to two is the score. Pat Maroon and Matt White. Excellent throw, ice hockey players. Matt White wins it. White, high slot, shoots, he missed the net. You know, we haven't seen Matt White just dominate like he has in years past. No, but you don't want to let him walk in right there either. No. <laughs> Sigmund, toe drag, shot, save, rebound. Put on net, Johnson makes the save. It's also early. Matt White's a guy that could just yeah, all of a sudden sure. take over a game. For sure. And if you let him, he will. That's the problem. Pat Maroon, a little area pass for Westcott. Back to Maroon, one timer. And the save is made by Redmond. Then the whistle blows because the net came off. Why? Why does the whistle? <laughs> Just let the play go and fix the net. Simple. That would require skating to the front. You're right about that. A soft win for the snipers. Kavaya. Pass for Fox. Fox moving up the floor. 
Pass up ahead. And Hawkins, back hit, shot, he scores! That's a quick turnaround here at 4-3 now, Treft. And of course, there's so much time in these games, you can't hang your head when you're down 4-1. Why would you? They also can't leave Brandon Hawkins that open. That's true. Checking out the replay now. And we look at this. He's slowly skating up the floor, Hawkins is. And how does he get lost? That's crazy. Beautiful Man. backhand shot nonetheless. But he is, I wasn't here for this. Hawkins last year, 14 points in 36 games for the Comets. <clears throat> or scratch that, no. That was his teammate. Hawkins led the team with 39 points in 37 games. That didn't sound right right when I said it. Uh, oh, man. That was a feed for Sig. Padilla says, tell Treff Burnett got a ton from when he left Air Force, so he just brings a new one out when they break. So I don't know what you were talking about there. but Oh, he broke his stick. Remember the SC-16? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. That might have been his last one, though, because he doesn't have a backup SC-16. Mm -hmm. Mars Blade up by one here, Treff. An important last three minutes. Because they can't, even if they get to a shootout, they can't lose in the shootout. They can get a shootout win and then have to win their next game. And that would force the few to have to win. But if they lose in a shootout, if Mars Blade loses at all, shootout or regulation, they're out. Still lots of time, two and a half. Melton moving up the floor. Black Ice watching this game from the tunnel. This, one of these two teams could easily be their first round opponent with how the first round yeah, works. Yeah, nothing is, nothing is set in stone right now. Nothing is set in stone at all. Here comes Archibald. Archibald cuts right, now left, now to the near side. One time shot, he wow. scores! Archibald, great feed there, great feed. Frankie Melton has been a man possessed this tournament. And that shot goes top shelf. 2.01 left in the second. 5 to 3 is the lead now for Mars Blade. That's a massive insurance goal, George. Absolutely. And I don't even know if that's insurance yet. Gives him a safety net, but. Isn't that the same thing as insurance? Safety net? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Then I picked the wrong words. Alex Kyle and Guzman dancing, literally. Now a oh. shot over the top of the net by Maroon. All right, here comes Matt White. White, right wing side, wrist shot, that one goes wide. Pass comes to Guzman. Guzman over to the near side. White shoots. Save made by Johnson. Cook was telling them not to press there, not to press the puck. Redmond doesn't leave. He goes right back in. That one's blocked the defense. Now Redmond will go. Now wide into the zone. Gets it to Fox. One minute left here, Treft. Fox to Sigmund. That one missed. Goes to the right side. Matt White. Out high. Brandon Hawkins. Hawkins wants that side. Hawkins to White. 45. White down low. In front. Sigmund shoots. That one goes over it's top. It's a great play there. Great play there. Sigmund just couldn't get it on net. Fox to Matt White. Back to Fox. He'll shoot. That one goes over top of the net. Westcott tries to clear. Remember, goal differential could be huge. Smart's Blades is bound to be in some sort of tiebreaker. Buck played to Matt White. In front, Sigmund jamming at it. Lost it. Westcott shoots for the empty net. Just missed. 12 seconds left. That's still it. Huge win for Mars Blade. Huge. Now Matt White fires it, scores! With four seconds left. Now you talk about goal differential, that could, that could honestly be 4-6, Treft.
Let's get the puck to Brandon Hawkins. He can shoot from anywhere. That's what Nick Okada standing next to our booth just said. Hawk, just a shot from the red line. Great minds think alike, Okada. Hawkins is taking the face off, though. Goes over the near side, chopped at. That'll be it. And Mars play stays alive with a 5-4 to four victory over the Snipers. Man. Out for a break, back for more. Palma Pro action right here on SWH Live. 